so that's what we're going with. It's October 1st. I am stoked. This month is going to be that crazy for me. In a good way, in all good ways. I am already wildly stressed out, but in a good way? And I, of course, in my brain, oh, well, what could possibly make it more stressful? Oh, I know. Vlog it. So I'm gonna make a weekly vlog every single week of October. I really need to get back in the habit of filming. I have a lot of ideas and concepts, but I'm not putting those things into practice. That and I would really like to just take you along. This is the first month I feel like things are really happening. There's a few events that are later in this month that I'm really excited to just throw out. The first one is the showcase, the Sin City showcase for the whole studio that I work at. They're holding a showcase in Denver and basically it's just all the students and the teachers getting to showcase all of their skills and what they've learned so far and just get to dance. And since I teach a class, I get to do my first ever group choreographed dance. I have had this idea and this hope for this specific number for like three years. No idea why, I just heard it once and I was like, you know it'd be really cool to have a full choreographed dance to this song. Now I get to do it. And then I'm also doing a solo dance. So I've got the group choreo that I am practicing for. I have a solo dance that I'm rehearsing for. I also have other rehearsals, but that showcase is for January. So we are doing rehearsals this month, but that's further. <laughs> the second thing, the second big thing is I'm going to be flying out to LA, literally for like maybe two days, but I've been invited to come out and speak on the protection. It's called The Witching Hour. I've been invited. There are some really fantastic names. There's performances and poetry and talks like I'm doing, and I'm super excited, and it just, it just sounds like fun. I will leave all of that down below if you want to check it out, which I, I really hope that you do, but that uh, that's pretty much what I'll be doing this whole entire Month. The showcase is the 22nd of October and the witching hour is going to be held on the 27th So if you're in LA or if you I think they're doing like an online zoom Also, if you want to get tickets for that, you can also get tickets for that either way. It's gonna be super cool There's gonna be a lot to learn and a lot of really amazing people that come up and share their stories and share their um, tips and tricks and perspectives and I'm really looking forward to it. So yes, October 1st, but let's take it day by day. It's Friday meaning uh, I get to see my friends tomorrow. There's a, a bar, I think, doing a zombie prom theme. <laughs> I'm gonna go out and get some stuff from a thrift store for me and my friends so that I can create some zombie stuff and prepare for that. And that's, uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing today. But first I should probably finish editing my thumbnail. Well, while that is pending, um, I am going to run to the thrift store with my mom, go pick up some stuff for tomorrow, and then when I come back, I'll be able to do the description for the video and add all the links and um, do the closed captions as well. So. Okay, this is the dress. Um, the only problem with it is that if I flip it to the back, this zipper just doesn't have a zipper, <laughs> which is easy, but um, 
because it is just slightly too big for me. So I think that's what I'm gonna do tomorrow. I don't have enough time tonight, but I'm gonna finish uploading my video and then I'll just have a lot to do tomorrow after dance class. When I think about the way we used to be, it is wow why don't i think it's thursday it's saturday that's what comes after friday it's saturday and i am doing a collaboration with equality apparel company and they reached out to me it was super nice of them they just asked hey i just want to send you a couple of things whatever you're interested in just to kind of get a shout out and um that and also i think that you might like my brand i checked out their website and i love their brand they have the cutest like prints and designs for LGBTQ plus community for um, equality of people of all colors. And what's even better, if you don't know, I'm demisexual. That's on the asexual spectrum. I'll probably make videos on that if you're like, what the hell are you talking about? I'll probably make videos on that some other time, but they have asexual representation, which I think is really cool. So I said, yes, I would love to get some of those. And they sent me three shirts. I was expecting one and I, I really like these. Let me show them to you. <laughs> um, but that's the asexual flag colors and the rainbow. Then we've got this one, which I think I might crop and wear today, or maybe I'll crop and wear that one. I don't know. This ace needs some space, which fantastic shirt, 10 out of 10. So I think I might crop one of these two and wear it to class today, but speaking of class, I actually have to go, like now. back from dance I'm gonna shower <sighs> my place is a mess <laughs> okay well I'm gonna shower <sighs> I got the witch's box uh, book subscription today the witch's shield and the witch's coin both by Christopher Pen Pensack that's probably wrong just a lesson that I've learned And so it goes Tables turn In your own Okay, so I finished the dress. Now all I have to do is my makeup, and thank God my mom is a cosplayer. <laughs> so I'm gonna do my makeup. It's like 4.30, um, I believe in probably an hour. So I'm probably just gonna do mine first because I have to do three other people's makeup when I get there. Oh wow, okay. Um, I've got most of it done. I'm not fully done because it's a problem. I have to look pretty too, kind of. But it's about that time I have to go, ooh, I'm gonna be late to pick up my friends because I have to do their makeup too. So that's what we're gonna do. Nice. I don't wanna see the bite. Look how good it looks. I'm so proud of it. Nice. Um, it's Sunday. I've got a lot to do. That's gonna be a thing for probably a day or two. 
and the Patreon weekly reading, get those kind of finished up. I have rehearsal both of the showcases, one at I think two and the other one at four. So that's what we're gonna do today. The very last part. Then we'll move on. Okay, here we go. Do just what you want. You're the one I trust. It's what day is it? It's Monday. I'm gonna head to Target, uh, finish up the Patreon stuff that I didn't finish yesterday. I'm gonna see what time the studio's open because I have to figure out what the hell I'm teaching tomorrow for my class and I need to edit a video. So, full day. Here we go. p.m. Um, I just finished working for now. I'm probably gonna go back to work before I go to the studio and figure out what I'm teaching tomorrow. I had a little bit more work cut out than I originally thought because I got an email from Anna Luisa and I usually send them an unlisted link to see kind of the video that I already made just to make sure that everything is all dandy before I make it live and they just wanted a few very small tweaks but it was within the actual video. A little extra work of just going back into the original video, editing those little pieces that they wanted me to edit, and then re-exporting it and re-uploading it. Issue I did run into was I had already paid for captions on that video. Because I moved around a couple of things, there's like 30 seconds of captions that are just, it's just off. So about a minute and 30 seconds in, I will eventually have to go in and just manually move every single caption for the next like 13 minutes of that video, which really sucks. Unless I want to spend more money to get it recaptioned, but I use Rev, Rev.com, so they professionally caption everything. Your girl's dyslexic and not good at captioning, so you know, I know that that is not one of my strengths. I will pay people who are professionals to do it, so that is where I send it, but I don't really want to pay uh, more money just to fix a 30 second thing. It will probably take me like 45 minutes to move everything over, but it's fine. So I'm gonna go downstairs, I'm gonna make dinner for my mom and I, and then I'm probably going to come upstairs, check my email, make sure that everything with the merch, it's just simple merch, but I really like it. I, I like the like very simple look at it. You're gonna like it. However, uh... That is a terrible thumbnail. Why would it upload it like that? Oh my god, look at this. Wow. She's beauty. She's grace. Make dinner. Check the email. If everything is either empty or going good, then I'm going to probably read a little bit, digest, and then head over to the studio after all the classes are finished. Well, but I'm getting ready to go figure out what I'm choreoing. 
Um, yes, I'm going to deck myself out. A, because I haven't really left the house other than going to Target today. And B, I find that this is part of the ritual of getting the choreo out is you gotta dress the part because then get a better sense of that emotion or that character that you're trying to portray in that choreo. So that's why I'm getting all decked out. And that also, it's fun. Lipstick makes everything better. Okay, so I actually just, wow, it's really dark. I actually just spent two, three hours? Wait, it's 11.30. So two and a half hours at the studio um, trying to figure out what I'm teaching tomorrow. And I think I have an idea. I, I wanted it like spooky and October themed and you know, if people wanted to be in their costumes or like a sexy costume, they could. I think I'm going to come early to the studio before all the classes in the morning tomorrow and then just kind of like clean it up before I actually teach it. Yeah, I need to just, I need to go to bed. So I'll see you tomorrow. Happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday. It's already noon. I just finished eating lunch. And prior to that, I was really just outlining um, the review or just some notes and all that jazz on these two books. Oh, I didn't show you the books. The one, did I show you those? I don't know. I'll show you them right now. The Witch's Shield, The Witch's Coin. Maybe I already showed you. I don't remember. We'll figure it out. The good news is, is once you've read one witchy book, like a one foundational or beginner witchy book on protection magic or on money magic or on kind of anything, you've kind of read them all. So a lot of it is really just recap. All the introduction part is all the same. Wearing my beanie today because I slept on wet hair and everything is very fluffy. And I'm trying out these little like star patches for pimples. They're kind of cute. I like it. So we'll see how it works. Anyway, speaking of books, I have finally gotten to a point where I can kind of finally just chill on the witchy reading. I do have one other book that I just finished that isn't witchy based and it's all about fungus and fungi. I mean, that's what I do for work. I get sent a lot of witchy books. So I recently purchased a book that's been on my list for ages and I'm really excited to read it. It is called Ace What Asexuality Reveals About Desire, Society, and the Meaning of Sex by Angelina Chen. She was interviewed on one of my favorite podcasts, Factually, with Adam Conover. It was just a really great podcast. That was, I think, one of the first times that I was listening to somebody who was ace representing. And there's there's really not ace representation. I think, I think the character Bojack, not Bojack, Pod, off of Bojack Horseman. I haven't watched the whole thing yet, but I think he's ace. Yeah, like that's that's kind of really the only representation and representation is important, you know? I'm gonna finish outlining the book reviews and then I have to go back to the studio, clean up that choreo that I was working on from last night. Long day ahead of us, but all good things and I'm pretty excited to take you along, so here we go. from the studio for now. I'm gonna just hang out and read for a few hours before I have to go back to the studio and teach and do rehearsals and try not to work. I just wanna chill for a little bit. Well, I forgot to record class, so there's that, but it went pretty well. The first week is always the rough one because I usually come up with the choreo the day before or a few hours prior, which is, you know, what I did this week as well. And uh, yeah, it went fine. I am hoping to add on more to it next week, but we'll see. Hopefully I get the time to do that. I think, I think that's it. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna close up and go home <laughs> and then teach class in the morning.
Baby, I'm not mad at all We both tried and tasted fall Can't hold our love against the wall No Alright, so I just got back from class I need to make protection video live Send that over to Anna Luisa I am also interviewing Jake in like 10 minutes so I'm gonna send over the zoom call yeah I think that's it <laughs> Okay, I just finished um, interviewing Jake. That was awesome. I adore Jake, he's wonderful. And so I'm really excited to get that one out. I think I'm planning on getting that interview out maybe first week of November. So hopefully that goes well. Well, I gotta text my dad back because we're trying to figure out when our schedules work out and we can grab dinner or lunch or something. And then I'm going to outline and clean up a little bit of that speech thing that I'm doing for the witching hour. Uh, later this month. I think I'm just gonna leave it at that. I've done a lot today, <laughs> it feels like, and it's only two o'clock. So I think I'm just going to outline that and text my dad back, and then maybe I'll just take the rest of the day off. I feel like I, it's already been a whole week and it's only been two and a half days of this week, so let's do that. Good morning, it's Thursday. Uh, meaning I'm gonna be working my money bowl and I don't know if I'll have enough time to film Working my money bowl in that video that I wanted to film this week because I leave To go hang out with Frankie and we're gonna film a video today So um, for now I'm just gonna hang out and I'm gonna read and drink my morning coffee and if I have time to film the other video I will but that also uses a battery and SD card memory that I would like to use for today so I might save it for next week. You know from the start that nothing's gonna break my love for you, babe. I got back from hanging out with Frankie and I ate. I kind of chilled for a little bit. Then I went in and went back on YouTube and answered some comments on my video. Man, I don't know what it is. Posting witchy videos really doesn't make me feel good. <laughs> oh God, there's somebody looking at me doing this vlog, so I'll probably just finish this vlog inside. I figured I would definitely come tonight and train because, you know, training for your solo in a showcase or an upcoming show is never a bad thing, but also I need to just dance it out. I live in my head as a person. So that's why dance is so important to me is because it connects me, it grounds me. Days like this where I'm just stressed and as I was saying in the car, I don't know what it is, but posting videos of witchy content stress me the fuck out. Um, I already have videos planned for this month, so I'm gonna post it regardless. Instead of making solely witchy videos or videos that are only witchy, that are only focused around witchcraft, that I, I just allow that to see through in all my other videos and mainly I guess vlogs because I'm really enjoying making I really love making vlogs. I already had this whole crisis earlier, right? I don't think I'm gonna be posting witchy video like solely witchy videos very often if at all I think a lot of it is just going you're just going to see me do witchy things Or I'm going to talk about my witchy things in my vlogs because that's more of an you'll see more of that natural practice You'll see it in practice and also I won't feel like gross posting them. I don't know what it is. I just don't like, I don't like checking back. Every time I post a witchy video, I don't want to go back on YouTube. I don't want to open YouTube. I even to watch my own creators because I just don't want to be there. And I hate that because YouTube used to be one of those places that if I was having a bad week or a bad day or I didn't feel good or whatever, I could go in and watch creators that I really loved and that I wanted to see content from. Oh, good. Actually, that's the air. That's a good thing. It's going to be hot in here. <laughs> Again, I know that a lot of people are really frustrated that I don't make witchy videos all the time anymore, and it's really weird 
to me that people see me as this like witchy idol person <laughs> you know like I'm just some weirdo that does witchcraft that posts videos on the internet I don't feel like I'm anybody who should really be looked up to in that sense there are so many people out there who are phenomenal stronger more skillful within their practice that I look up to that I think deserve that recognition maybe that's imposter syndrome I don't know I just don't feel like I'm somebody who is like wow <laughs> I'm just somebody who practices and has seen results and has enjoyed it and want other people to be able to enrich their lives in the same way that's literally all I want for my videos is I just want people to be able to get some kind of perspective or tool or idea or whatever to enrich their lives and make their lives the best that they like their lives something that they want that's it that's all I want for my videos it's not to teach people witchcraft to teach people to pole dance like those are things that have rich enriched my life so I just share those things but it's not about trying to get people into these things it's more about I want people to take something away from my videos and want want to enrich their lives and find those things whatever that may be maybe it's I don't know maybe it's like math or something maybe you love math because math is everything math it creates the world math is the universe so maybe you're passionate about that or trees or I don't know like I just that's what I want that's the only thing I want for my videos and for some reason I just get a bad gross feeling every time I post a witchy video I don't feel like that is what people are getting from my videos when I post a witchy video like that. I don't feel like, I don't feel like I'm giving anybody anything to enrich their lives with, which is the intention. I think that's what it is. I think I feel like a bad teacher because I, I don't think that, I don't feel like people are getting the thing that I am trying to teach. For example, my money bowl videos, right? I, I want to make another money, but money bowl video. This vlog is going to come out way before that video comes out, but I'm planning on having that out this week or this week, this month. Because the money bowl has enriched my life, whether it's actually magic or it's placebo or it's like whatever the fuck you wanna call it, I don't really care. You know, it's whatever it is, it worked for me. Even if it's just me changing my mindset or whatever, it worked for me. I now have a life where I enjoy what I do and I have creative freedom I get to teach pole dancing. I get to make YouTube videos as a career. Like that's insane. <laughs> and while I'm not like rolling in the dough, I can support myself. I can take my friends out to eat sometimes if I want. I can buy them drinks if I want to. I can afford to buy the people that I love gifts that they'll enjoy and not worry about it. And that that's what I want. That's what I wanted from my money bowl. And I, I feel like when I post a video talking about a money bowl, people think that it's purely, oh, just, I just, it, money, money coming, money, money, all the money. And it's not that, it's, it's what the money is going to provide. So yes, it's attracting money, but like what you're attracting the money for. Um, so you can tell, I mean, I'm visibly frustrated. Fine, I want to work through my frustration. That helps me. I don't like, I don't like trying to calm down out of my frustration. I think it's good to be frustrated when you're frustrated. Is any time I post anything that I'm frustrated or upset in any way, everybody's like, no, you'll be fine. Just, you'll be, f everything's okay. I know everything's okay. I understand that everything will be okay. But let me be frustrated. I'm getting on the whole thing because I'm frustrated. <laughs> I'm gonna post a bunch of witchy videos as I promised in October and I do like I said, I do enjoy making the witchy videos. I do enjoy talking about it, obviously. I do enjoy sharing these things with people. It's just something about me posting these videos that I don't like, and I do think that it's me feeling like I'm a bad teacher. And Because I have to be careful about how I word things and I post things because people will pick these things apart. And words are important, So, and I've, I've said that. Practice what you preach, right? It's not that I feel like I'm a bad teacher. It's that I feel like I have a lot of room to improve as a teacher because I feel like the people who are consuming my content are not fully understanding what I'm trying to teach. The tools that I'm giving people, I don't feel like are being understood or put to use in the way 
that I am hoping they would. But I just need to, I need to get it all out, sing to the studio spirits. <laughs> It's 1 a.m. I have to be kind of quiet because there are people sleeping in my house. Um, I just got back from the studio. I'm gonna shower and head straight to bed. It's way past my bedtime. But technically it's Friday, so we made it a whole week. I hope that you enjoyed um, going along in this week with me. I'm probably going to edit this and get it up and live for everybody on Sunday. But yeah, I'll see you in the next vlog, in the next week, hopefully. It's gonna be pretty wild. <laughs> I think, but all good things. And I feel a little better now that I danced and like got it out of my system. Um, I definitely need to rehearse a lot more. And I, I don't have a ton of time, but hey, we're gonna figure it out. Anyway, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna shower and head to bed. So thanks for thanks for spending this week with me. I'll see you in the next one.